My eyes are not what they used to be. Today we're taking a look at this LCD microscope, which uses a small screen instead of using an eyepiece. And it comes in a box like this. <laughs> Included with this is the USB 5 volt adapter and it comes with a European plug. There was no option to change the plug so this is just what you get. If you live in the US you're going to have to use one that you already have. But the nice thing is it just uses USB to the little uh, USB micro so you should be fine. If you have cell phones you probably have one of these. But this is what the screen looks like. Here is the adjuster for the focus and then down here on the bottom it has LEDs inside there and the screen is in the, uh, mic in the camera itself. It just sits up on this little stand, and that's how it works. And then you can adjust it with this once it's turned on. Now this does have batteries inside of it, so it has to be plugged in and charged up for a while. It's kind of a pain at first, but the nice thing is, you know, once it's um, charged, you don't have to worry about keeping it plugged in. So let me get this thing charged up, and we'll take a little closer look at it. When you plug it in, there's a little red LED on here that indicates that it's charging. So we just need to wait till this goes off, and then it should be fully charged. While we're waiting for the charge, thought I'd show you this. Banggood has a t-shirt out now, and it just says Banggood on the front. I think it should say .com. On the back of it, it says I Heart Banggood, and uh, it's pretty decent material. The sizes are actually close to the American sizes. When it says you're getting a uh, 2X or a 3XL, they're actually pretty close. It's not like you have to get like a 6X, you know, just to fit into it, like the other t-shirts. These are actually sized appropriately. Anyway, Banggood t-shirt, kind of cool. So here, it's mostly charged. Over here on the side, it has the USB port, and that's where I was charging it. It has an SD card slot, and then it has a little wheel here that rolls up and down, and that controls the brightness of the LEDs. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Hold down the power button. There it is. All right, so it's working. So this slides into this little holder, and this is just the holder that I came with. There's actually another one that has a wheel on the side that will adjust this thing up and down, but yeah, you know, didn't, didn't pick that up. So the cool thing about this is it has a little adjustable screen, and when you're using a screen to look at stuff, it's kind of cool because more than one person can see it at the same time, rather than like an eyepiece where you're only getting one at a time. So here's the, uh, this is the Banggood page I was looking at a little bit ago. And if I put this on here, you can see it says like, shop all categories. Anyway, it's real nice and bright. Now if I center this up here, I can uh, adjust the brightness here, make it a little bit uh, dimmer or a little bit brighter. It's not very, it's not showing up very well in the video, but it is, it is making a little bit of difference. Uh, there's also a mode where it flips over and it shows you the date, and this is where you can, I think you can take pictures with this if you have your um, SD card in. Hit it again, it goes back into the playback mode. If I had an SD card, it would be uh, able to play back some of the videos, and I think as soon as you turn it on, it starts recording. So you hit the mode again, it goes back to the, the normal thing again, back to the normal screen. So anyway, let's see if I can find some more things that are a little bit more interesting than this piece of paper to look at. The website says this supports up to a 64 gig micro SD card. However, I don't have 64, I got a 16 though. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here. And you gotta be careful when you're inserting it into the SD card slot that you actually put it into the slot, which is the side over here by the monitor. You can slide it down here past the slot and your card's gonna be stuck inside, so don't don't do that. So it goes in there and once it's once it's on there, we should be able to see a little, yep, the micro SD card picture here. That lets us know that it's actually reading the card correctly. So that's good. All right, so I'm gonna take a couple, look at a couple different things up close, including this AK <laughs> that's made of carbon fiber. This came with one of my quads. And also I got this other flight board. This has seen better days. Two of the ESCs burned up. So we'll take a little bit closer look at these because it's kind of cool to see the solder joints. We'll go ahead and start with this flight board here. And we're gonna look at some of the solder joints. So I put this under here and you can start to see the <laughs> solder joints on here and they look humongous. Okay, so if you wanna start recording onto the SD card, just push the okay button and we start getting the blinking red light up here in the corner. All right, so now we can move this around and look at some of these joints. And so this would be good if you're trying to solder something real small. Uh, it could also help if you're trying to, um, I don't know, look at anything that's real small. All right, so here we'll go ahead and get this uh, joint here kind of in the center of the screen. Then you can push this up arrow and it will zoom into two times magnification and up to four times magnification. Now it looks like it's just doing a digital zoom, which is okay. I'd rather see it be doing an optical zoom. 
but it looks kind of like a digital zoom to me and you, you can't go in any more than that it just stops at four but you push this it goes back down to two this is the down arrow and then goes back to the normal one so most of the time this is probably going to be good enough especially for soldering because you're going to be able to check joints pretty easily all right so here's the carbon fiber aka and if i put this under here it looks just like it's kind of white but it has to have to turn it a little bit so the light doesn't reflect on it quite as badly then you can see the actual fibers inside but because it's a little bit different height i have to adjust the focus a little bit then you can start to see it a little bit better so if you look if you can see it very well the uh, carbon fiber looks like it's actually decently cut except for well, let's see where is it there's some parts back here where it looks kind of bad but again we're also looking at this at a huge magnification level so <laughs> when you look at it up close it looks fine like oh wow this is really nicely cut but put it under the microscope and you can actually see all the imperfections that are in here so it's kind of cool all right one more thing i also got this i told you I got this bang good shirt i'll see if i can get this bang good shirt under here We'll look at some of the threads on here just to see what it can do. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Oh yeah. Oh nice, there's a little black thing in there. Oh, so you can see it's it is a um, it's not an iron-on. This thing is actually put on here and it's made with some kind of uh, just the normal stuff I guess you make shirts out of, which is kind of cool. I mean you can see all the patterns inside the uh, cloth, which is really neat. Anyway. So, <laughs> that's kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna get my computer out and we'll see what this thing does when you hook it up with USB port to a computer. I have the USB cable connected down here to the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the screen. Now it says USB, microscope, and my computer recognized something. This is a standard Windows 10 installation and it's having problems recognizing the uh, microscope without having any drivers installed. So I'm going to try to see if I can find some drivers or try to reboot first. We'll see. The error should pop up. It says it, there it is. Can't connect to it, so device is unrecognized. Right, I'm going to try to reboot and then try it again. Even after a reboot, it's still not recognizing the uh, microscope. So it's probably missing some kind of driver that it has to have, and I don't know what it is. So anyway, we're going to move on, and we'll look at some of the video that was recorded on the SD card in the, can in the uh, microscope itself. And we'll see how it looks. Here are the contents of the SD card. It just has a record directory. And inside there it has the two files that we recorded a little bit ago. So go ahead and open one up. We'll see how this looks. Uh, hopefully it just plays and doesn't have driver issues with the format that it's in. Which it doesn't look like it's going to. Alright. Now this doesn't have any audio because it doesn't have a microphone on it. But it is moving around just fine. And this looks... Wow, this actually looks better than it did on the little LCD screen. Maybe because it's bigger, I'm not sure. But it's kind of cool because it, it's actually just a uh, playback file here. And if you look down here at the bottom, you can see the scroll bar is moving across. Well, they're disappeared, but there it is. So, yeah, this is the playback. We can skip around through here. Yeah, there's the carbon fiber, and there's adjusting it. So, yeah, I'll put some of this raw footage into the video right here. Overall, this microscope thing's kind of cool. It, uh, it it would be useful in a lot of scenarios. You're, you know, if you're trying to fix something, you can have a hard, you're having a hard time seeing it. There's my ring. Or you just want to show something to your friends. Y'all want to look at it together. That'd be a good reason for it. Or trying to do soldering or just anything real small that you just want to have a screen for. The other nice thing is you can look at this with both eyes instead of just using an eyepiece. And also being able to record your videos is kind of cool on here and watch them later. Kind of neat. Anyway, this is the digital microscope. This came from Banggood. It, ha it says it's rated up to like an 800 times zoom, which I don't know that it really does 800 times, but it could. But I don't know if it does. <laughs> so, you know, but you kind of saw what it's doing. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And as always, thanks for watching.